In this video, we will review the My Mini Noodle Cooker and Skillet. It is advertised as having a 5 inch skillet, requiring 260 watts of power, and having non stick cooking surfaces. Now, I have owned this little noodle cooker and skillet for several weeks now and have cooked several different types of items in it. However, today we will be using it to cook a hamburger. And here is the uh, My Mini Noodle Cooker and Skillet. The preheat light is on as it is plugged in and uh, heating up. This won't take too long. It heats up relatively quickly. And we'll get some of the fixing started here. While that's going on, I will mention uh, that this little unit does get quite warm. The lower portion, which has a plastic shroud around it, uh, does get very warm to the touch. You need to be mindful of that. And of course, the skillet portion on top is going to get hot. And while we're on that topic, the, uh, the little handle on the skillet will get quite hot. In this video, I've got some vinyl caps that I've installed, two of them, actually, over the uh, skillet handle because it did get so uh, warm. Um, I'm going to cover that a little bit later in the video, and I think you should make the modification uh, to that skillet handle as well, whether it's the vinyl caps I used or something else, because you don't want to burn your hands on that. Getting the tomato, onions, incoming pickles. Um... Now I do want to mention that even though this is a quote cute little pot, it is in no way intended for children to use. Like I said, it gets hot and they will burn themselves. So if you are using this in the presence of your child, I would suggest that you do the cooking and you be very vigilant around the uh, noodle cooker and skillet while it is heated up. We'll just sit back a moment while we get some of these fixings started. Now I've got the uh, hamburger patty already thawed out. So this video would be a little bit shorter. But uh, if your patty is frozen, it will thaw out relatively quickly in this little pot. It's, uh, it's really surprising how quickly it warms up. Here's my uh, hamburger buns. Today I had preferred the uh, onion buns. Now I do have a little My Mini toaster. It toasts uh, one slice of bread or a half of a bun at a time. It's also a low wattage device. We'll be doing a review on that later on. Another item that's excellent for low wattage travel use. All right, get that patty started in there. I like cooking hamburgers with the lid on the skillet because it really keeps all the juices in. If I want dry meat, I'll eat uh, beef jerky. As far as I'm concerned, juicy is always better than dry. Let's get some mayonnaise on there. And I like to put the condiments completely edge to edge on the bread uh, not just slapped in the middle we don't need any condiment desert on the bread in this case the onion bun mm -hmm. check on that meat all right let's get that mayo and mayonnaise all the way to the edge I don't need any shoddy sandwich there you go yeah, that'll do it. Mm-hmm. You can smell that meat cooking. I'm waiting with bated breath to eat that burger. Yeah, peekaboo. It's still in there. Shortly we'll be flipping that patty. Like I said, folks, this doesn't take long. There you go. Look at how juicy. 
I really shouldn't be using that knife. <laughs> Next time I'll get a small spatula. We'll do the the little flippy do there. Mm -hmm. See all that juiciness? Some of that is a little bit of fat, and we'll be we'll be draining that off shortly. As you notice, we've got the Colby Jack cheese now adorning the plate. Pot sizzling up pretty good. And it smells wonderful cooking. The cleanup on this is, is, is so simple and quick, it's silly. Instead of a large uh, skillet on a stove to clean up, and also the extra added electricity requirement on a stove, I mean, this is just... You can't compare. This is very low wattage and very quick, quick cleanup. Oh yeah. We're going to drain a little bit of that fat and a little bit of that water out of there. And eventually I will uh, rehydrate it with a little distilled water. Keep that patty nice and juicy. And we've got a little bit of Himalayan salt and also some quality pepper. Of course, you could use any seasoning you like. Get that lid back on that skillet. Keep those juices locked in. The anticipation of this burger is high. It's smelling great, and it won't be long. Got to get a little bit of lettuce out there. A little bit of iceberg lettuce. By the way, if any of you out there have this uh, noodle cooker and skillet and you've uh, cooked some interesting things in it, feel free to leave it in the comment section. All right, I'm going to drain, drain that off a little bit, get a little bit more fat out of there. There wasn't any super lean uh, ground beef in the uh, meat section at the store today, so I had to get like the 80-20 ratio, and I usually drain off that fat. And we're going to rehydrate it with a little distilled water, again, to keep things juicy. Stay off that onion. We need that for the burger. Mm -hmm. Won't be long now. Now, you'll notice in this video that I take the burger out and then install the cheese on it. When I Actually, I had originally intended to put the cheese on while it was still in the pot, and I had to rectify that situation. See, now, <laughs> now I'm going to reverse things and get that, that cheese in the pot so I can get a little melt on it. Sorry about that. And this won't take long at all. As I said, this, this little cooker and skillet is very efficient. Uses very low electricity consumption and heats up quickly. And that cheese is going to be just about ready. And 
Yep, looks good to me. Now let's get that bad boy assembled. I'm not uh, going by any particular order of operations here. We're just installing the uh, ingredients as desired. Let's get some of that lettuce on there. Well, that was the fastest plate cleaning I've ever seen. All right. Look at that juiciness. Oh, so wonderful with that onion bun. Yeah. And no burger would be complete without a few chips. We'll get some jalapeno chips on there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a great lunch. Look at that. All in the My Mini Noodle Cooker and Skillet. And that didn't take long. Nobody deserves this lunch more than I do. Mm -mm -mm. First bite. There, you have some. Go ahead, help yourself. Oh, that looks delicious. That is just glorious. I love using this little cooker. Okay, in this portion of the video, we're going to talk about uh, parts that get hot. This skillet handle here, as you can see, I've got some vinyl rubber caps on there uh, to insulate the heat from uh, your hand. I've got two of them. I just happen to have black and red color at my home, and uh, so that's what I used. I heated them up in uh, a microwave for a few seconds, or you could use a hair dryer to heat those caps up, and that makes it easier for them to slip on. You don't want to be bending on the, uh, the handle, though, because uh, there's a little piece of metal that holds it on, and you, you could break it, potentially, if you bend it too much. And the caps that I used are actually three-quarter inch size. It's hard to tell in this video because they're not perfectly round since they've been uh, stored away and kind of smashed by something heavier on top of them. But uh, yeah, that's that's something you're going to want to do, or you're going to want to wrap something around that handle. I wish the manufacturer would make better insulation on that handle. Okay, and now it's time for the final analysis. Um, overall, I really do like this little noodle cooker and skillet. I've used it many times over the past several weeks, and I really like it. Uh, the caveats to it are that, uh, well, the bottom portion that's uh, shrouded in plastic uh, can get quite warm, so you want to be careful of that. And uh, the skillet, obviously, is going to get very hot. And, of course, we discussed the handle, how I needed to uh, greater insulate that handle. But uh, if you can deal with that, um, it's an extremely low wattage cooker that heats up quickly, so it's great for travel. Um, I do recommend this product. Just remember that it's not for children, and if you're going to have kids anywhere around when you're cooking, you want to be very vigilant. Hope you enjoyed the review. See you next time.